I love this movie, man. I really love this movie. So, um... Hmm, there's a fear. <laughs> everyone, welcome to YAN. I am your host, Mr. A.A. A. Ron. Welcoming you all to your average nonsense. Today we're going to be watching the Honors trailer for Titanic, uh, the 2023 remaster, or two, I don't know. Uh, but, uh, yeah, uh, <laughs> I was going to do like a like a housekeeping, like uh, if you like this video, up. I usually save those to the end. So let's go on, get to the videos started on... <laughs> Really hope they don't tear apart this movie too much because I love it a lot. All right, let's go. One, go. As a kid, I was obsessed with Titanic. Titanic is returning to theaters for its 25th anniversary. And I Many saw it. Everywhere, an easy way to seal the deal this Valentine's Day. Not now, me. Settle in for a remastered honest trailer of the one we made back in 2012. Because some things have changed since then. But honestly, not that much. Together, their undying love made James Cameron filthy fing rich. <laughs> Titanic 2023 Remastered Edition. <laughs> when this sheet of paper survives 80 years at the bottom of the ocean, somehow, yep. this one year old will explain where the priceless jewel 101 pubes went in a film that dares to imagine. What if your grandma's rambling stories were actually interesting? It was the most erotic moment of my life. Man, everyone's just watching. Her. But it's such yeah. an epic tale, you'll barely even wonder how she knows what everyone else was saying at all times. Well, I thought about that too. Out in the backseat of a Coupe de Ville, a lookout was chatting about his special nose. You know, I can smell it, you know. What is there? Anyway, back to the sex. Welcome aboard the Titanic, a ship inspired by your mom. She is the largest moving object ever made by the hand of man in all history. <laughs> We're talking 20, 30,000 tons. Tour the extremely <laughs> British upper decks. Keep order here. Keep order. Keep order, I said. The ethnic stereotypes <laughs> below. I'm Tommy Ryan. Fabrizio. Hi. And the mole people below even there. The mole people. <laughs> Then welcome aboard young Rose, a once and future drama queen. To me, it was a slave ship taking me back to America in chains. Okay, relax. Watch as <laughs> the 17 year old risks it all and throws caution to the wind because you never know how long you've got until Leonardo DiCaprio leaves you for a literal child. You're still my best girl, Cora. Hmm, not getting the best vibes from this guy. Stop! Stop! <laughs> Leo squints his way into Oh every my Leo god, stop! As Jack Dawson, <laughs> while he drags Rose into a whirlwind romance, literally. Come with me. Jack, wait! Come on! Come on! Well, come on! Well, Rose wouldn't move on her own! He was proactive, she was reactive. He's impossibly hot, hopelessly yep. romantic, and yep. completely devoted to a woman he spent like 12 hours with Todd. <laughs> he even dropped his Wisconsin accent to be more attractive. I grew up there near Chippewa Falls. And as I was saying, that water there is cold enough to freeze your pooper off, don't you know? Thrill as Jack and Rose <laughs> deal with her fiance, Cal, the Monopoly guy with better hair. We are royalty, Rose. Even though Billy Zane is the only man who looks better bald. Escape from Rose's <laughs> evil mother, who lost her husband and doesn't want to live in poverty? What a <laughs> Pal around with Molly Brown, literally the only nice rich person on board. Yep. You shine up like a new penny. And set sail with the captain, who is just one voyage short of retirement. Retire yep. with a bang, AEJ. Eh, you people can't just go around foreshadowing like that and expect not to die. It is unsinkable. God himself could not sink this ship. She's all the lifeboat you need. But this ship can't sink. What a lucky son of a in the world, you know that? Jinx. 
That was the point. Strap in for a perfect split between romance and disaster. Plus yep. the horror film rule, where if you have sex outside of marriage, a monster rises from the deep to kill everyone you love. <laughs> and the Titanic goes down in stunning detail, handing out hundreds of deaths that range from heartbreaking yep. to kind of funny. <laughs> yeah, I thought so unnecessary, too. Since that piece of wood was clearly big enough for two. Jack. Okay, I, uh, I know it's poetic, apparently, Cameron, but this it would have sank. You get one small detail wrong, and no one will shut up about it for 25 years. 80% of my body is out of the water. I think Jack's death was needless. Everybody in here know that she should have got up off that bed and, and shared it with him. Could Jack have fit on that door at the end? Oh <laughs> my Didn't God. this just come out? <laughs> I could have shared the raft. I've never really seen it as a debate, it's just stupid. Cameron's verdict? Jack might have lived. Yes, I knew it! I never let go, Jack. I never let go. So revisit the film that's the Rosetta Stone of James Cameron's true passions. Checking out cool animals, putting Kate Winslet underwater, and using <laughs> his movies as an excuse to dick around with submarines. Yeah. In this three hour epic that turns a real tragedy into the backdrop for a made up romance. A yeah. genre that can be amazing when it works, but it usually doesn't. You are yeah. just so. <laughs> Never forget. I forgot about that. Starring The Departed. These rows ain't loyal. 98 fiance. Hey, Grandpa, um, you might want to sit down for this. Yar, bring me the heart of the ocean. Yar. Leak end at Bernie's. Rest Rout in peace, Bill Pax. Boat of transportation. The number one quote of 1997. I'm the king of the world! The number one song of 1997. <laughs> 1997. <laughs> And the number one opinion of boys in 1997. I thought of nothing except Titanic, but I never got it. <laughs> uh, Did you know that Johnny Depp turned down the role of Jack? <laughs> Johnny Depp in a doomed romance at sea, playing a hero named Jack with a spoiled rich girl running away from her problems, looking for a mythical treasure, being pursued by arrogant British aristocrats? <laughs> that would never work. Draw me like one of your oh, I that might have been one of my favorite world. honest trailers to date. That was so good. Um, but like just the fact that they didn't like acknowledge, um, like they didn't rag on it too much might have might have helped because I really love this movie. Um, what was I gonna talk about? So, regarding the whole raft thing, um, I was under the belief that. Okay, well, first of all, like, since I've, I've been super obsessed with this movie and obsessed with the Titanic itself because I love history since I was, like, a really, really little kid. Um, uh, but I was always under the impression, because at first I was like, oh, yeah, like, they should have just shared. Um, but then I was thinking, oh, they, they both would have died. Uh, but then also, I was, but then I was like, if Jack had gotten on there, it would have sunk at least... Because the way they get up is they try to get up from the side and then it flips over. But if she had gotten on and he had gotten on that, I always thought it would have sunk because it's a door. <laughs> like, there's only so much buoyancy can do to keep the thing afloat. And, you know, Rose is wearing a life vest, blah, 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 blah. So that, I thought, I like that they touched on that. Uh, regarding whether or not uh, it's actually true, James Cameron admitted it might, he might have lived, so whoops. Uh, and the other thing, which is probably the, the best fun fact that I found out literally watching the movie with the commentary, which I had never done before, but um, I did when I got it on Blu-ray, uh, the fact that they had shot um, like they, when they filmed, they built like the whole side like oh, one side of the ship like they built it and the fact that like apparently when it was docked in southampton like in on their southampton set they had built it on the wrong side <laughs> and so they had to like reverse they had to like reverse everyone's clothing like their name tags had to be backwards they had to be like on the other side 
uh, you know, all the words had to be written backwards so that when they filmed it and then they, they edited it, they could just flip the frame, like just flip it. I was like, what? Like, I just thought that was incredible. I never even would have noticed that it was on the wrong side. But, uh, you know, I liked that Cameron was very um, stickler for it being as accurate uh, as possible. And then there was a joke about it being super British with the actor going, keep order here. Keep order. I said, I don't know why, but I love that line so much. And ever since I kid, I've always like quoted that. Keep order, I say. Like, cause it's just so British. Oh, this is such a good honest trailer. I love this so much. Um, and I hope you all like this trailer reaction. Let me know your thoughts about Titanic. Did you go see it? I did on Valentine's Day. And that was... Whew, that was an experience. Um, yeah. <laughs> I was the only single guy in the theater. Uh, me and a bunch of couples. Uh, which was fun. So fun. Real fun. Anyway, thank you all so much for liking this video. Uh, watching this video. I hope you liked it. If you did, let me know in the comments. And uh, like this video. Share. Subscribe. Leave a comment. And I will see you all in the next video. Bye.